July 20th meeting of the Arlington Redevelopment Board being reported by ACMI. First on our agenda this evening is the review of the estoppel certificates on Arlington 360. And I will hand that over to you for that. Sure, thank you. Uh, we received the report very late for the day, and the housing director, deputy director, began to look at the report and saw some concerns. So she feels that she needs to get some better information for you, and she's not prepared to recommend that. I mean, I say unfortunately because of the season, it's hard to get for me, so, mm -hmm. but it's their schedule. Mm -hmm. She had asked them, and they had agreed to have them to her. Um, it's more advanced time than they ended up giving her, so uh, that's all we can really do on uh, that first item. And who does she deal with? It's still a representative from Jefferson's Department Group. So, Sandy. No, I don't believe Sandy is still with Jefferson Department Group. We were wondering that ourselves. Yeah. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. No, that's not the case. She is with Jefferson Department Group. She's in a different position. Mm -hmm. she, she's um, <coughs> a higher level. Moving on. But she couldn't help out for old time's sake at some point. <laughs> so yeah. if you need some help with it. Did you have something I was just uh, wondering if perhaps we might give um, the chair the authority to sign the estoppel certificate if he determines upon advice of staff uh, and town council that it's appropriate to sign the uh, well, then I'll move since there's no one else here today. <laughs> Make a motion. Right. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll move that. Yeah, I'll move that uh, we give uh, the chair of the ARB the authority to sign the estoppel certificates if he determines it's appropriate to do so upon the advice and recommendation of uh, planning staff and town council. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> Moving along, next is input to selectmen in response to mass housing for the tree. You go. Okay. The purpose of this item is for the redevelopment board to determine if we want to provide input to the board of selectmen as the board of selectmen considers a response to the application by O3 Development to mass housing for a project eligibility, eligibility letter. It's basically a uh, DHCD coming in our county to the development determines if a project is eligible under the capital permit law. The Board of Selectmen is holding on um, August 12th at 7 p.m. Um, a meeting in the Town Hall Auditorium to allow Oak Tree, actually they requested that Oak Tree attend and be prepared to present more information and more detail on that application. You saw it's a voluminous application, but even still there are there, there are um, some additional information the board would like that wasn't provided at the application requests. And they want to hear directly from the tree. So I wanted the board to be aware of that if you wanted to attend uh, on August 12th. But in addition, uh, we want the board to um, consider whether I put together an outline of some of the uh, issues that we could consider, including, uh, you know, letter. And the way you could approach this, um, you could consider, oh, I see a typo in um, for I'll put break up this section, so. You could look this over and consider um, authorizing the chair to work with staff. You could decide what parts of this you think are relevant to the board's input. My, my recommendation is that because the master plan was just approved this year, was adopted this year, 
I think that's um, it's the redevelopment board's role to point out that it's the open space plan and the master plan both call for conservation of the regard land. Uh, I think it's also an opportunity to, and, and one we should, the town really has to assume that there isn't, uh, there's no familiarity with the background on the site or with Arlington's achievement of affordable housing. So, this is a brief outline of some of the points that I think should be, the board should consider bringing to the selectmen's attention so that the selectmen can help make, make their case to mass housing. The, I would even say that it's, it's very important for the selectmen to ask the project eligibility order. I, I think it's clear that we, we don't think it should be issued because we don't think, when I say we, the town, based on previous policy documents and on three town meeting votes, the town doesn't consider that a site that's appropriate for residential development. It's long been a uh, site that's priority for that one. has been conservation for a long time. So I, I think that I think there's a persuasive case to be made that there shouldn't be a project on the board, but. That will be determined by the board of selectmen how they want to phrase their response. And they'll be crafting that response after that presentation on the spot. So a letter <clears throat> would uh, would be, regardless of when we start putting it together or something like that, would be uh, What we, we, we could provide it to the selectmen as they kind of go through theirs, or is it more towards the... The timing of it, the sequencing would be the redevelopment board, you would submit comment or input okay. to the board of selectmen uh, with some key points that you <laughs> ask the board to consider including in its response to the project of the board letter application. So what would the time be? That would be before the August 12th meeting? I think it should, I think ideally it should be before the August 12th meeting because I don't know how much time. I know that the response from the Board of Selectmen was already provided by Mass Housing, but the Board asked for an extension on that response. Um, so I think the sooner the better. Uh, the sooner that the board can get that from uh, the development board can get that from the board of selectmen. Um, mm -hmm. The board could prepare something and always, if you choose to authorize the, the chair to prepare the letter. If anything new or um, important to the development board comes out of that August 12th, the chair could. Which leads me to the question about meeting dates. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. on this, we've got August 10, 4, 17, has hypothetical dates for, for a meeting. Um, if we were to choose the August 10th date as the meeting date, we would be able to perhaps vote on a final draft if we've got a, a draft circulated to board members prior to that. Yeah. The, um The, the next question is in terms of process and making sure that we compliance with open meeting law requirements. Um, 
you want to offer a letter and have board members submit comments to you and then synthesize the. Sure, I can do that. that makes sense. Yeah, I'd, um, I'll be. <coughs> I'll be away from the 30th of July and the back in August. Back in the Okay. Even if we could have the afternoon, we could bring that comments as well. Yes. We yeah. just don't have a working session. Mm -hmm. There's so much time on time. Well, I mean, I think if we, you know, if we were that far down, you know, having gotten it beforehand, you know, then certainly I think that we'd be in a position where I'm really the board of Silicon Valley. I believe they're going to try to prepare their response before the presentation. It's not really like a public hearing. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I should try to I I think we should try to get for you clear understanding of <coughs> what the Board of Selectmen's time sequence is for when they want to have their, what, their own letter mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think we should go ahead with the, with the direction you set, like meeting on the 10th. I will also let the Board know, and the Board of Selectmen know, that the Board, this Board, is preparing a letter with some key points and some input for them to include in the to re that the new on board is requested the most of them include in its response. So they know it's coming. And mm -hmm. let them know that you will be able to attend. It's, it's not too far away. There's no one. Circulate the draft and you can get input to me. They needed a draft, you know, just have a copy of the so I can not, not define it. Yeah, right. I mean, <clears throat> the thoughts are mm -hmm. to consider. Generally speaking, do you? You know, item one is the Commonwealth's um, own <coughs> planning policies for the new garden, make a high priority for conservation. And in detailing the high priority that the land has been for conservation for the town through all these policy actions and policy documents. The third being um, the strong, the town's strong record of supporting production of affordable housing units and giving more detail on how that's been done, including the um, monetary support to the community of the block. Mm -hmm. um, also the fact that the town, unlike a lot of suburbs, allows and permits multi-family housing developments, including the office buildings in 1960 apartment buildings, which not only produced additional housing units, but produced affordable housing units too. Mm -hmm. Also to detail previous development proposals, and the history of, of the site, um, and including the 2002 and 2004 uh, litigation that was decided for the Environmental Conservation Commission. Also flood flooding and resilience, uh, resiliency. Um, I think it's important for us to try to point out that 2,500 new apartments are built, 1,000. I think they're already online just last year, and uh, another 1,500 are coming online. Uh, and that's far surpassing the amount that the city of Cambridge expected to be built by 2024. So they've started a master plan process themselves that they expected to take three years, and they've decided to start it in the Aylwick, in the Aylwick area because of the concerns about um, sea level rise and resiliency and the ability to, to respond to flooding. So I, I think that's important for the board as a, as a planning community. And of course, um, traffic congestion, our master plan has 
is calling for mixed use development, which is more sustainable and a higher density so that we can concentrate uses where we already have services. This is calling for, um, this proposal is calling for 319 parking spaces. And it's not a mixed use proposal. Everyone who wants to go to a drug store or grocery shopping will have to get in a car and go. You can't get on the red line and do your grocery shopping. So it's an auto-dependent, auto in my opinion, I don't see the way around the proposal in an area that at a time when I don't think we have asked this, this developer years past to consider developing where it would be more appropriate. So these are some areas, but please um, be sure I'm not overlooking anything that you think is important that should come from the development board, from especially with your, your planning hat on. So give it some thought, and as we peruse the draft that I'll send to you, make sure I'm not overlooking anything. Just curious on process. Uh, would the tech provide a letter to, or is it the board? The, 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 the board is so. Uh, I I feel uh, it, it's too early to get into very detailed okay. information, uh, but to the extent that the board is looking to they expect that tech might already have data yeah. on the area. So I think they, totally. I wouldn't be surprised if they asked the tech for that. You know, to go down that area yeah. and, and until and unless you know that they are doing that, I think it doesn't make sense for the board to suggest yeah. that to the board. That makes sense. Especially if there's um, existing data. CPA. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> this is another item that, that this is another item where um, it might be one of those hurry up and wait items. I think the board, you're all, you, you could appoint a, a member at the time, but there might be two reasons why you'd want to wait. You might want to wait until the board is fully appointed, which should happen soon. You might also want to wait until the CPA, the other members of the CPA committee, and the National Planning Implementation Committee are fully appointed. Uh, the CPA committee uh, candidates were the CVs have been received, and uh, I think interviews will probably be conducted. I believe the time frame is that they hope to convene that committee in September. So I think over the next few weeks that would be something quickly. So this might be something that it wouldn't um, be the end of the world if you waited. In fact it might be more advantageous to wait because then you'd have more of you to decide who is going to sort of at, at, in that seat, the redevelopment board seat on the CPA. There's also a redevelopment board seat on the master plan and and on the housing you agree to do housing, right? Like, like, yes. Okay. So there's a, there are a lot of um, boards and committees right now that have redevelopment boards that are going to be so I'm not going to wait for the board to kind of share that labor or the wealth of <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> On the other hand, if someone's really should be a bit, I'm not chopping at the bit, but as I look at the different choices, I, I, I'd go for CPA as well as that much. Uh, I think there might be better skill sets for master plan. I should. But, but I mean, that's just you know, this. Uh, what are they no, I, I, what are I, I, you didn't plan? get. No, don't no, 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 I know, and I, I think I like the idea of waiting to see what the what the what this board looks like and everything else. I guess I'm just tossing it up for it. For it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Is that on You've registered your interest. <laughs> we could nominate like, a place for you. Yeah. 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 Ye
<laughs> That's fine too if you wanted to do that, just in case something came up, but I don't think it's going to happen. Just to review, um, the committee is composed of nine volunteers, including four members of the general public, and a member from each of the development board, the Conservation Commission, the Historical Commission, the Parks and Recreation Commission, and the Housing Authority. So the resumes have been um, gathered for the nine volunteers, and of course the boards and committees will make their own recommendations on who would serve in those. So that's probably that's probably all you need to do on that item for now, unless you have additional questions about how the committee will work. Really quickly. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Master plan implementation. I'm going to slide right into the next item. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Master plan implementation committee. We have been discussing a 10 member board. Uh, we have a lot more, well, twice as many very good qualified people as we do at large members on the committee. Just to review, Master Plan Implementation Committee includes a new development board member, a town manager, or a Director of Inspection Services, uh, two ARV appointees with preference for former Master Plan Advisory Committee members, a town meeting member appointed by the moderator, a Finance Committee member, a CPA Committee member, and two at large members who the town manager would recommend for appointment by the board of So I have Names of individuals <coughs> who submitted just for your. In case you recognize me, but I don't have any names for me. But I have a list So, but I can tell you a little bit about many of them. But before I do, I, I'm, I'd like to suggest to the board that we either expand the committee, because this isn't a, it's not like a working committee, like it, this isn't a legislative or policy making group. This is a get stuff done. Yeah, it's a get stuff done group too. too. So, Wendy Richter is a former member of the Master Plan Advisory Committee. She's an architect and a lawyer, as you all know well. Um, Committee member, um, former member of the National Plan Advisory Committee, and uh, Open Space Committee. Uh, open, open Space Committee. Uh, Larry Englisher, you met a few weeks ago. Larry was before you, along with others, um, discussing the um, prospect of a, a tree, tree, tree bylaw. And he has experience as a big planning engineer. Carol Thomas is um, a planning legend, actually. Carol Thomas is, um, she's retired, but she did a lot of work here in the States and in China. And a lot of the plans are actually now being built in China. She lives right here, and um, she's a, in the College of Fellows of the American Institute of Certified Planners. So it's, I think it's exciting that she's interested in she was on the plan board for you know, 50 years ago. Really? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. So, Melissa, I'm not, um, I'm not going to pronounce your name correctly, I'm sorry, Lobe, um, say, is on TAP. Uh, Joe Barr is also on the National Plan Advisory Committee. He is in charge of um, traffic stuff and transportation for the of Cambridge. Mm -hmm. And he just worked for uh, transportation and second plans. Uh, John Sandian uh, also has plenty of experience, and Ralph Wilmer is a professional planner who is also a fellow in the American Institute of Certified Planners. He 
was with Hamas and Brussels. So I'm just going to read that because we're going to see there's a lot of talent here. Well, it's pretty good. Yeah. Four out of those eight. Yeah. Right. So I have the stages. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, you might want to consider saying who would take uh, the four positions. Right. Is a vote, and maybe others would be advisory or at large. <coughs> um, so there's a you could consider that at this this meeting. If you like, you could uh, also take a look at the resumes or authorize a member of the board to do that and to return the recommendation. The description. Yeah. Yeah. So, Carol, uh, two, the ARB has two appointees. Town manager has two appointees. Yes, would, they yes. be, would, would the town manager be looking at the same? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. yes. So, I think it would be. I'm, I don't think it's presumptuous to think that the town manager would welcome the board's recommendations. Mm -hmm. um, do you know, have you had any conversations with the moderator at all? Uh, not, yet on, not yet. On I, I, I will point out Anne is a member of town. town yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. You could be the town moderators. She could potentially be the yeah. town moderators. <coughs> This may be a question for down the road, but do any of them have specific experience in housing, affordable housing? I think we'll have to spend time That's a good, good question. Uh, it's possible that you might be confused. We've had so many board vacancies and so many resumes, mm -hmm. and then I think that it might be confusing. But I believe that John S. Lanyon may be, um, may work in housing uh, at Harvard. I don't. I mean, I know GSD is the school of design, right? So, uh, if there's a possibility, I think she's in the same thing. Because we've got a lot of housing people who have expressed interest in the housing plan of residence. Yeah, it's a lot of time. Very fortunate. So the short answer is I'm not positive, but possibly on the side. I think it might make sense for the to take a look at the resumes. And, and I think maybe until we find out what others are going to do, maybe it doesn't make sense to change it around. Is, the, right now. is there some overlap with these applicants and some of the other open we'll seats the CPA? That was the other thing I was going to say because one is a CPA member, so if one of these people ended up being on CPA, it would be I'm glad to bring that, bring that up though because Charlie um, Colossus has applied for. We yeah. develop it, yeah. and he can oh. um, he can be one of your. So this is another reason why it might be better to wait because yeah, I agree. he want if he's on your development board, he could be our uh, he could be the person on right. yeah. yeah. And he would he was interested in both ARB and master planning competition. Okay, so to have like that continuity. Doubles. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I, I was kind of the list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I stuck it there. Because I wanted to be clear that he's a he's quite a good for it. So I can take a stab at that um, type of spreadsheet and then um, if a member of the board wants to take a look at 
the resumes with that spreadsheet in hand to add to it if there's anything I've, you know, some of these CVs are dense and have a lot of good mm -hmm. experience on them, so that, that could be one way to work out. I should be able to do that. We have to have that break for you sometimes not. Okay. I do want to do that for you. Okay. Sense to wait so at least until the next meeting, not to go around for both the seats, all the seats. Yeah, especially until ARB members are appointed. Yeah, just see how it all should be. It needs to come in at this point. We need more control over that. And then that needs to be for our projections. It might make sense to check in with John and Ellen and see whether he's not. Or whether Definitely, actually, yeah. I've made a note about that. that. Yeah. 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 Second and third, the CPA committee and the master plan implementation committee until we get more information and uh, possibly until ARB is an end additional ARB plan is made, if not both. Then Andrew will be the liaison of the redevelopment board representative to the housing plan advisory committee. And the board still needs to fill its um, liaison to the open space committee. I we have to, the staff has to work to try to get, beat the bushes a little and find out who's out there, who might be willing to be appointed from, it doesn't have to be a member of the committee. Andy did serve, um, Andy West did serve on the Space Committee a few years ago, and then it was a non-ARB member, board appointed, and, and we can continue with that. So, I think the board is going to be pretty well extended on these other committees at this time since, um, the, especially given that the open space plan update is, is adopted and we're just waiting for the state's uh, approval. It seems appropriate this time to see if we can get you uh, at least a small pool of people to consider for that appointment. Okay. And Bruce, you're on the Twenty-Two Standing Committee for the time being. Um, right, but I guess that would be advisory committee. Yeah. Right, that's... Okay. Yeah, so uh, they shrunk the standing committee down to right. 20 plus members did not write and then all the town employees, appointees, and elected officials that were, were formerly on the standing committee are now on the advisory committee. Gotcha. Any, questions, any other questions on these um, liaisons and uh, representatives? Okay. Uh, the three leases we've worked on in the Central School and Prince of Maple Street are uh, finished. Uh, we are waiting for signatures on 23 Maple Street on Monkey's um, Family Institute. So that's good to have those done. Um, as soon as the 23 Maple Street is signed um, by the tenant, will sign it, and um, that will take care of Mystic River Water Trust Association, our Arlington Seniors Association, North East Family Institute. Also, um, regarding 23 Maple Street, you recall the porches and entryways that were put out to bid uh, two years ago. They, uh, we funded that job differently through 
capital plan this year to allow us to budget this project closer to what the bid, how the bids came in in 2013. It came in much higher than what we budgeted then. So that RFP is out to bid, and uh, the due date is July 29th, uh, not the August 3rd. We realized that since the scope is smaller than we thought, uh, we don't need to extend it as far as August 3rd. So July 29th, we'll be here. It's an addendum uh, we're out today, or we'll be posted in the window. Uh, we also last week received a request for proposals from the Commonwealth to renew to compete for the privilege Yet again. to yes to be the landlord to be the the, la the landlord for the um, Department of Mental Health Regional Office and the Department of Development <coughs> Services Regional Office. Those are longtime tenants of the town, but because Commonwealth trumps local municipalities, we have to compete with their good, which is the privilege to lease to a state agency. Um, it looks very similar to the last RFP. Um, the bids are due August 12th. Uh, so we're going to get very busy to put together something. So I'll, I'll have to be in contact with the board about the rent, uh, the rent to offer. Um, I am working very hard to try to get this done before August 12th because it's on the way. So, I would like to ask the board to consider appointing someone to work with me on a um, suggested rent that we would a rent proposal that we would approve with our RFP. I'm oh, sorry. You will? Yeah. I could do it that week before the 12th. You're, you're away? Um, I'm away starting this Friday. Okay. So. <laughs> the reason I was asking him while well, uh, Mike worked on uh, some of the center school related stuff in the past, and I, I might, like, the scope of this so, might expand uh, from rent proposal to uh, other parts of the Yeah, well, you've been told me that before. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be back on the third, and uh, I'll probably I'm do some of that last week, too. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. So it's just, this week just. It's one of those weeks where you're trying to get out for vacation, so. Sure, I understand. <laughs> you have to get everything set yeah, up. Exactly. Two weeks and then, work that's right. when, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just don't want to be in a position of um, offering things in a rent proposal that I'm just shooting from the hip and not. Um, mm -hmm. Well, oh, that's the obvious one. I mean, the last time I think it was kind of strange how it all worked out. Maybe that's not the right word, but the proposal certainly seemed. Like it was headed in a different direction, um, at a different property, and was kind of built for that. But then it all kind of collapsed. Were, were you thinking we're looking at a similar type of? Uh, it's hard to know. Okay. It's hard to know. Uh, this is a ten-year lease. Oh, this one's more. ten. Because the last one, what was it? Was it no, I think the last one was intended to be. A oh, right. But then they only did the two. But in the end, they only asked for. They only said they would do the two. So, we have made some improvements in buildings. Nothing to the extent of what's requested in the RFP, but, um, and we all have additional improvements um, to the site, budgeted for this year. Mm -hmm. You know that um, we have funds budgeted to um, repave the site and to redesign the paving of the Disabilities Commission reviewed some of the, uh, developed a number of alternatives and approaches to the site paving, um, especially considering that uh, the Disabilities Commission is headquartered there and uh, senior programming goes on in the building. Uh, so I think the next thing is for me to communicate with the Historic District Commission Chair and the Historical Commission Chair on which alternatives seems to make most sense for the disabilities um, commission and see if we can whittle it down to a proposal that we really don't have um, specifications prepared to carry out. We are waiting to hear whether we received 
a grant application for the Jefferson Potter House for uh, the Massachusetts Preservation Projects Fund. Uh, I think we have a very good chance. Um, I have to credit Heather LaValle and, um, on a lot of the heavy on that grant application. She's with the down museum. She's terrific. She's, uh, the Commonwealth requires a, um, a very rigid time frame for um, putting out the R RFP contracting with within a very short actual construction period to get work done. So it has me a little bit nervous, but um, I've been assured that it doesn't have been uh, assured by people who have worked on these grants before. So I'll keep you informed on that. Um, oh, if I may go back to Center School for a moment. I have asked um, a memo to the Board of Selectmen and asking them to create two ADA um, two accessible parking spaces on the street on Maple Street. Um, it's not possible to create accessible parking spaces on site at the Central School because of slope and distance from the accessible entryway. Um, so after consulting with the safety officer, um, the W director, the Disabilities Commission, um, the executive director on the Council on Aging, and the ADA coordinator, <laughs> we came up with a location. And um, so I, I wanted to be sure you knew that, that that's a, a important responsibility and we're going to try to make sure that that's provided. It will also help um, with other activities in the neighborhood where the public's invited perhaps to uh, Friends of the Drama and needs um, accessible public spaces. So uh, I understand that the board is going to consider that. I believe that's going to be. I wanted to offer the board at an um, upcoming meeting, perhaps in the fall, to have Ted Fields come. Um, if you have room on an agenda, he prepared an, um, a vacancy report for the Board of Selectmen recently. Uh, and it's very interesting data. It, um, if, if you're interested, uh, you'd be able to come and give you some more highlights of that. So it, it helps get a better understanding about what is the economic base in Arlington. And, what goes into the vacancies and how do you compare it with communities? That's better than what I thought that was. I thought we had a vacancy <laughs> to report and the oh. economic development. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, what happened to Ted? No, I think I'd like to, to do that sooner or right. later. Okay. okay. Uh, maybe I'll try to put that on the August 10th. If he's not on vacation. Or is that too soon? It might be too soon. Okay. All right. So maybe a September. Maybe the first September meeting. Okay. Yes. So, I, I wanted to also, I, I'm missing from the work tracking report that you will have two environmental design review special permit hearings in the next month, and at least one, and very likely a second. One is the uh, hotel in East Arlington, and it's expanding rooms. I've been working uh, to get the conservation uh, commission permit process completed. We've uh, been having a certificate, uh, excuse me, an order of conditions from the conservation commission, and they've met several times with the neighbors. So the next move is to the board and uh, reopen that special permit. And so we have that. Uh, we were going to try to see if we could do it in August, but with the applicant's travel schedule, with our own travel schedule, it's the other is a um, Arlington has a large house bylaw. If a residential addition is proposed uh, greater than a certain size, it has to go to the zoning board of appeals unless it's providing this. Uh, it didn't like that. And this one appears to fall into that category. So there is strong enough to be kind of action here as well. The, uh, We don't have a date yet, but we only want to come to meeting. But, uh, the application, uh, I have to talk to the applicant to see when, when they can come in. So we should have work products soon for you on the design guidelines. And um, it's a, a, a booklet and a, a poster size. I saw the sample 
And the um, last bit of update is um, benches and street furniture are, um, started going into the Mass Ave project last week, um, getting positioned. A lot of effort is going into trying to position them in a way where it considers what businesses or uses are on the block, uh, input from the merchants, uh, updating assumptions that were used when the plan was made, and a lot of some businesses have changed, so it might not make sense to do what was planned. So the contract is being great about positioning them, giving us time to communicate with merchants, and possibly reposition them before they're permanently put in. So I wanted to make sure you, if you get a chance to go down and um, shop or dine in East Arlington, just take a look around and see, um, look for some of the benches, especially the benches. I think. Uh, they make a difference. Are there any questions or anything you think should be on the work tracking or you expect it would be on here that isn't? What's item 11 on the website? Oh, thank you. Uh, we need to update our website a little bit. Certainly we need to update once we have a full complement of members. We need to take a new picture. Um, and we, we should look at the website from time to time to make sure that it's reflecting the current work uh, and your priorities. Uh, I think it, I think it, it's one of those things where you, you, the website's there and every once in a while you need to look in the rearview mirror and see if it's uh, showing how. So I keep that on the work tracking report so that we can remind ourselves to take a look at it once in a while. And, Discuss whether we need to make changes or updates. So that's what tracking. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to approve the minutes. What dates do we have for the minutes? 15th of June. 27th of June. Okay, good. Five minutes. Fifteen. Bruce? Well, I wasn't there. However, uh, one suggestion in the fifth paragraph where it reads Mr. Campbell explained form based code. Uh, semicolon, it is different than zoning. I think that, that you might want to change that to read it is different than classic Euclidean zoning. Mm -hmm. Because form based code is still zoning, it's just not Euclidean. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm not in a position to cover. So. I've got a few, and I can pass them over afterwards. Okay. Um, we put a little messy, sorry for that. But uh, in the second paragraph, sorry, Mr. Kowalski, here then, Mr. Kowalski just uh, had to go down the very end. So I think, I think you just My stayed. My dad. Yeah, exactly. I think you stayed in Ms. Kowalski to hold that. Uh, and then on the, the next one, uh, the next paragraph, uh, Mr. Gamble introduced himself uh, to, and then you've got the board, but the board wasn't really convened at that point, so I would actually say to the audience. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but yeah. And then a uh, third paragraph from the bottom, starting on uh, Mr. Gamble showed a hypothetical example. Um, I would I would say at the very end of that particular paragraph, it said uh, to use handheld response units to vote on a range of questions. However, such units did not work. Mm -hmm. And then on the next page, the first full paragraph, uh, in the uh, second sentence, sorry, Ms. Kowalski said the land along the Millbrook is owned by many, I would say, property owners. You got properties right there? So, um, the Millbrook is owned by many, many properties. Thank you. It's property owners. 
and going down to the second to last line there, you've got uh, town has decided that some design gu guidelines will be implemented. I would say are expected to be implemented, as stated in the Arlington Master Plan. We'll have to see what that means. Um, uh, in the next paragraph, I guess I, I would say, I think I recall you saying Ms. Kowalski. In the second sentence, Ms. Kowalski, Ms. Kowalski said she hopes they would be worked into. I think that parts would be worked into the zoning bylaw. Mm -hmm. I don't think all of the guidelines were expected to make it into any kind of bylaw. I think that's certainly parts of them. Depending upon how we approach the guidelines. Parts. Yeah, that parts would be worked into it. Okay. Um, I think it was after the next sentence. It was either before the Chris Loretti paragraph there mm -hmm. or after. But I've got Ms. Kowalski announced that Andy West was now present so that a quorum existed and business may be conducted. Um, I think it was right after he spoke. So I think it's after this paragraph, was my recollection. I don't know if anyone has any better recollection. I think he was. Yeah, that's what I would I think. I know Andy got there before that, but I think that's when you stated it. Yeah, I recall that working that way too. Yeah. So yeah, and I can give you that language afterwards. Okay. Okay. If you can read it. Um, okay, and then um, two. Three paragraphs after that, Mr. Warden. So it's like Mr. Warden. Um, and then in the same uh, paragraph, they are wary about their own block and tearing down small pipe houses. And that would just, instead of four, I would just say to be replaced by oversized houses. Uh, Mr. Gamble said that he understood, uh, but that. But that issue is outside of the design standards. And then I would say, actually, the design standards exercise that was just completed. And then in the very last paragraph on that page, you've got an audience asked, it should just be an audience member asked about the design standards. That's Thank the you. right there. And I just, I'm sorry, the last page I just got. Okay. Um, in the second full, uh, the second short paragraph there, another audience member asked how to go and to not, I guess I would say, instead of just, I'd just say, not only consider, um, right here, not just consider, but not only consider the places people will go, but also how they're getting there. I also see official names must be corrected at the top of it. Oh, I missed that. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and then and then uh, a few down with the, the paragraph that starts Neil Mongold, uh, two lines up from the bottom of that paragraph, corridor, comma, comma, and back from a corridor. And then next one, Wendy Richter asked how the town can incentivize or engage. And then I don't think it's these properties, I think it's just properties that are dormant. Sorry for such mm -hmm. I need stuff. Um, and Zwalski said that by changing the zoning, uh, uh, that, and then I guess I get rid of the by that changing the zoning could help with this change, which is a little. And it actually. Changing the zone could help with this change. I yeah. Mm -hmm. Or could help with this, actually. I don't think it would be the last change. Could help with this big movement. And that's it. Okay. Now, I'll give you one comment on the 22nd that I was actually absent from that. Oh. Okay. Thank you. I was trying to, trying to remember why I didn't remember. <laughs> I think you both caught 
that we can now accept on page two, the two line paragraph. Read down from the top. Mm -hmm. An audience member asked about the timeline for these design standards to be presented. Ms. Kowalski you mentioned the milestones hope to be reached. That's um, really unclear. Awkward, yeah. I don't remember where you pointed that particular audience member as far as finding the milestones or the timeline. Just oh, did you describe it? it? I think she described it. Yeah, I think she it. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Should it say something to, like, Ms. Kowalski described the milestones in response? Describe the expected milestones in response. Okay. Yeah. I think I hope to be reached entirely. Right. Thank you. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll move to accept as amended. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Sorry, who seconded? I second it. Thanks. June 22nd. First. Okay, so um, I think I have one set of comments, and it's all in regard to the fourth paragraph that begins with Ms. Kowalski term to the agenda item of Vision 2020 appointments. And I would think that was probably Mr. Vidal turn to the agenda item if you're chairing the meeting. So, unless I'm wrong, and if anybody knows differently, that's, that's fine. Um, and then in the third sentence where it reads, he also summarized the action taken by town meeting. And I would strike the remainder of that sentence and substitute in its place the following, which established a nine-member standing committee and a larger advisory committee, the latter committee consisting of non-voting members who are either town employees, appointees, or elected officials. And I can read that back if you want. Okay. Nine-member standing committee mm -hmm. and a, a larger advisory committee, comma, the latter committee consisting mm -hmm. of non-voting members who are town employees, appointees, or elected officials. Employees, appointees, or elected officials. In the following paragraph, one small typographical thing. The board turned to the agenda item of consideration, which is capitalized uh, with the C. I mm -hmm. move that down to non capitalized, and that was it for me. Move to approve the minutes of June 22nd as amended. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And there. Anything else? No. 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 Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye